Welcome to our devotions um, this week after Easter. I want to remind you, we start a new series called Lifeline this week. And what we see in the resurrection, we see Jesus doing in our lives every day. He wants to empower us with the power of the resurrection, with the power of the Spirit. And when that happens, three things take place. Um, it took place in the resurrection stories. In almost every account, in all of the Gospels, there is a moment when Jesus appears and they struggle to recognize him. Has that ever happened for you? That, that you just can't see what God's doing around you? I mean, you see your problems, you see your struggles, but you can't see God at work. God wants to move in us and he wants to give us the ability to recognize him. Uh, recognizing him can come in a, in a hundred different ways. Let me give you a few prominent ones. Recognizing him in nature. I mean, certainly kind of looking around I can say, wow, I'm sitting, I'm sitting in a little knoll um, just a few miles around the corner from where I live, and I'm literally surrounded, surrounded by mountains. And uh, it's beautiful. It's, I see him. I recognize him in nature. Romans chapter 1 tells us that we can see God in nature, that he is clearly seen through what has been made so that men are without excuse. It's a great passage. It's a great reminder that we can recognize him in nature. We recognize him in one another. Uh, the disciples, the, the, the judgment of Christ, when it comes, there will be those, Jesus told us, who will say, oh, Lord, here we are, you're your followers. And he'll say, I, I'm sorry, I didn't know you. And, and he said, what do you mean you didn't know us? He goes, you, know, well, you, you, you didn't see me. When you, when you were weak, you didn't see me. When I was hungry, you didn't feed me. When I was in prison, you didn't visit me. What's he saying? He's saying that those people around us that have need show us the person of God. And our responsiveness to them illustrate our ability to see God in one another. Uh, Genesis chapter 1 tells us that we have been made in the image of God, in the likeness of God. Therefore, what is he saying? He's saying that we are image bearers. And when we see others, what are we supposed to see? Not just a human, but a human made in the image of God, a reflection of God. When we open the scriptures, we see him. When we close our eyes and we meditate and pray in the stillness, we recognize there's a power greater than ourselves, and we recognize him, we see him. The first thing the disciples had to do was recognize Jesus. Mary did it by Jesus calling her voice. The two disciples on the road to Emmaus recognized him when he broke bread and blessed it. God wants you and I to, to recognize God's presence all around us, in the scriptures, in one another, and in nature. Today, I want to encourage you, as we go through this week, as we Think about a deeper prayer life and a deeper way of connecting him intimately through prayer in our upcoming material that we would in this moment just take some time and say, Jesus, I want to look around and recognize your handiwork. You are a creator. All good things come from you. God, I want to look around and see you in the people that I love and others in their faces and smiles and kindness. God, I want to see you. God, I want to open the scriptures and read them and soak up, Lord, the words that help me not just hear you, but see you, to recognize that what you did in the past, you want to do in the present through me. Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you for uh, being the God that, that rose from the dead, that wants to raise us to new life. And Lord, as we are on this journey together and we go into a deepening sense of prayer and communion with you, as we prepare ourselves to study and, and to, to look deeply into what prayer is and what prayer does and how prayer transforms, Lord, we start by simply recognizing who you are. First John says, if anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. Jesus, we acknowledge you today. We recognize you. Thank you. We love you, Lord. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.